everyone, I am Meena, a second year student at Kriya University majoring in economics. This summer I have been involved in a lot of internships, activities uh, etc. But uh, the best part of my summer was I was involved in a research project uh, which I did with one of my professors. He is Professor Samyajit and uh, we had a team as well for the research project. So the research project that I worked on is called Good Life. Sounds simple but there is so much research that is involved in it and uh, a lot of teamwork, a lot of interviews and market research and everything. And I absolutely had so much fun, uh, fun working on this project and gained so many insights from the interviews that I conducted or the people that I've talked to. My experience with the research internship with my professor, with my team was extremely good. Uh, because with my professor we would schedule weekly meetings or whenever possible to discuss our, uh, our progress or any challenges that we are facing during the internship and he would suggest or advise on um, how we should go about with the interview process, transcription, analysis, anything in general. And coming uh, to my team, the best thing I would say was um, sharing everyone's experiences before having their first interviews because once you get the hang of it you will do well with the interviews but the first one is always kind of uh, scary so sharing others experiences kind of uh, made me confident with my first interview and my first interview was absolutely amazing and I think this was one of the most helpful things that happened during the interview process. first two weeks of the internship would uh, go for workshops. Uh, a professor conducted a couple of workshops for the entire team to understand what the project is and how we will go about it. And, um, and we were also asked to maintain a journal kind of a thing so that we can note down all the reflective points or any information that we found interesting or any questions that we have. So after the two weeks, the entire team was divided into three groups where each group would focus on a research question. And the group that I was in, we focused on a question uh, that says what individual social and cultural factors drive individuals or people to um, make ethically aware or value agnostic consumption choices, especially keeping the environment in context. One major thing that I've learned from this internship is to express my ideas better. Uh, because I'm a person who has a lot of thoughts and ideas in my mind but they never come out properly. So if you're involved in a research project and that too you are in a group, it is important to contribute. If you're silent throughout the entire internship, it doesn't work out like that. So um, initially, the first two weeks, I was scared to express the ideas I had or any opinions that I had because I always had this fear, you know, what people would say or what if the idea doesn't even make sense. But later I understood that if you don't express your idea, then how will you know that you're in the right track during the course of internship? And then later, slowly I started uh, contributing in my group and then we would collectively discuss on um, how we should uh, come up with the research questions or how we should analyze uh, our information after the interviews. So overall, I would say uh, I've learned how to communicate better, express my ideas better, work in a team setting uh, because in this project you constantly have to speak with people to understand what's happening and especially while talking with your interviewers you can't have like a set of questions and keep on asking the, those questions just to get the answers. It's important to make it like a conversation based so that even the co-researcher who's sitting and answering the questions would feel comfortable. So I've learned all these things during the internship. Uh, some of the things were taught by our professor but some things that I've learned were uh, told to me by the team members itself. So overall, in the internship I've gained uh, a lot of information, amazing insights and I absolutely love being part of the team, the project and working with the professor. The skills that I've used uh, in this internship would be, uh, number one would be communication skills because you have to talk within the group with your professor, especially in the interviews, you have to communicate properly with uh, your co-researcher. And number two would be your research skills uh, because before starting your interview process, you need to 
be aware of the project that you're in or the information that is related to the question that you're working on. So in that process, you have to do a lot of literature reviews, uh, go through a few documentaries and stuff like that. So there, I think um, your research skills would be a lot important and something that I've used. And number three that I can think of would be analytical skills because after the transcription, uh, you have to either individually or you have to sit with your group and then discuss um, how to analyze the information you have. Because personally, it would be four interviews that I did, but when it comes to the group, it will be more than 15. So how do you find the common points in every interview? Or how do you find differentiating opinions? Or uh, how do you classify which factor plays a major role in uh, an individual's consumption choices and patterns. So I think all this comes under analytical skills and uh, that is something that I will be using in a few days while coming to uh, analyzing the information that we have. The project is different from what we usually do uh, research papers that we do in our classroom because as far as I know um, in your classroom setting you would mostly focus on a topic, do a bit of research, come up with papers, take few members opinions. But coming to a project, it is very detailed and in depth because right from uh, finalizing your research question to getting a group report ultimately, every step is important and is kind of different from your classroom um, setting. Because here you will be constantly in touch with your professor, I mean, or your advisor and your team and then you will be coming up with research question and then comes uh, your criteria, phenomenon and uh, sub questions and stuff like that and then you decide a criteria on what kind of co-researchers you want and then you go find co-researchers, set meetings, talk with them, do the transcription analysis. So this entire process is not available in a classroom setting. I do agree that some of the things are available when you do research projects within uh, your academic style or curriculum but overall this research internship was very helpful for me very different and very insightful and i genuinely thank professor samyajit for uh, giving me the opportunity to be part of the internship and also my team uh, that i worked with um, thank you so much for being so supportive and uh, i'm very happy to uh, be part of your team. Thank you.